good money. But I remember the night I just thought, I have got to just sing for Jesus and about Jesus. I'm tired of raindrops keep falling on your head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I mean, I like connecting with people. The first, pe first people I ever led to the Lord was bars I worked in, you know, so that was good. But, um, but then, you know, I had to go from <laughs> quite a bit of money for me to, like, nothing. And, um, you know, I would get... I remember they, they paid me $7 a song to write out lead sheets, you know, for <laughs> Maranatha artists in those days. And occasionally uh, we'd get paid a little bit if we were doing a praise album, if I got to sing on that or something. But it was, I wasn't making much. And I got, when I told my mom I was going into ministry, she said, oh, so you're on salary with the church now. I said, well, no, they call it living by faith. You know, <laughs> silence, <laughs> into the phone. She said, well, did you remember I'm the co-signer on that loan for your car? I said, Mom, we're God guides, God provides, I'm sure, you know. And I got the cheapest place I could find in Santa Ana. She would not have liked where I was living. It was kind of a rough area of town. You know, no furniture, just I found some blow-up furniture that, I, you know, belonged in a swimming pool probably. But, you know, I threw a blanket over it. But it was lean day. But, um... I was out of money, and I uh, I learned instead of shaking your fist at God, you got to go to Him. So we had Bible studies every night. I went to the Bible studies that night, and they were going through the book of Matthew. They were in Matthew 6, and that was that area where Jesus said on the Sermon on the Mount, the last part of me, says, consider the lilies of the field and the birds of the air. They don't sow or reap, but God takes care of them, and how much more? Does he care for you? So seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that verse just burned into my heart and I thought, yes, you know, I know as long as I'm seeking first God, you know, he's going to, if I'm supposed to get a job somewhere, he will lead me into that. But, so I went home and um, always had my guitar out, you know, and uh, I remember I was just thinking about that. And I actually started playing this melody on my guitar. And um, in those days, we wrote a lot of scripture songs. And um, that is a great verse. Surely there's a song to that, but I couldn't think of one at all. So I said, okay, I'm going to write, uh, I'm just going to write a song to that. So just, Thank you. Just uh, 
I pay in this old song, <laughs> which, by the way, God did pay my rent that month and my car payment. That's another story uh, of how that happened. But here's the humor of God. I knew nothing about publishing, you know, but we were starting to get into it. Man, I started a publishing company. And, and um, you know, to this day, uh, he knew he was going to leave me in the mission where I had to pay for a lot of my own mission trips. But that little song is probably about 60% of my total income wow. today. Because it's in hymn books and it's on CCLI and all, all, all of that. And I'm very grateful. <coughs> uh, Huh? I'm from Brazil originally, and I, I, I learned this from Portuguese when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now then, see, because Salty and Saltina recorded it, thank you very much. <laughs> Two of my songs. That went on Kids Praise 1. Yeah. And then uh, on Kids Praise 2, they did one. Don't <laughs> anyway, yeah, probably between them and the Catholics, you know, it's a missile. I think, you know what? Praise God. I think God could have another hit. <laughs> that would be really nice. <laughs> but no, I'm just humbled, really, because anybody could have written this simple song. You know, it wasn't any big musical feat, it was just a simple song, you know. And, uh, but, you get a good lyric writer, <laughs> you know, that's the key, <laughs> you know, the words of Jesus, you can't miss them, you know. So let, let's just worship team and just a kind of, you know, this is one of those songs that you're exhorting each other, you know, this is leading the hallelujah parts, you know, to him, but uh, to encourage each other to speak first, if we can just get this first down, the rest of it will fall into place now. By the way, I heard a sermon on righteousness. And I, I always thought kind of holiness, and it is that, but righteousness really means right relationship. Okay. So right relationship with God, but each other. Boy, that's where we get messed up, isn't it? <laughs> when we can't get our relationships right. But kind of think of that as you sing this song, too, is that as you seek Him first and seek to keep your relationship right with Him and with your brothers and sisters. We're gonna, it's gonna work. So, so some of you ladies, if you know that little hallelujah part, you know. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his